Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining my channel today. And if you have not already, please do not forget to like and subscribe. If you want to keep seeing videos on tech, just like this one. So today I will actually be comparing two different applications that I have on my Windows device right now. Both of these are compatible with uh, Mac as well. Uh, they are the Microsoft Phone Link app and the Samsung Dex app. What both of these apps have in common are that they are both ways to connect your Android phone to your personal computer. Um, I really love both of these apps. They are both really useful, but they do have different pros and cons to each of them. And I'm going to go over that today. So I'm not going to hold you any longer. Let's hop into this video. I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Back up my bags like the I'm grown. Told myself to show myself to do no wrongs. Like... I'm about to be on Been on this mission since I first left home Back up my bags like the I'm grown so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the compatibility and the connectivity of these two apps. So first off, Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX does not work on any other Android phone, of course. It only works on Samsung devices. And on top of that, it only works on high-end Samsung devices, such as their latest tablets and their uh, high-end phones. It doesn't really work on their budget-friendly phones or mid-range phones, as some people call them, but it only works on their high-end devices. In terms of setting up Samsung DeX, it's super easy to set up. There is a Samsung DeX toggle on your Samsung device. All you have to do is just swipe down your notification panel and then press that button. And you do have to have the uh, Samsung DeX app downloaded on your computer if you want to use it that way, or you could just connect it directly to a monitor that has a USB cord. The Microsoft Phone Link app is definitely more readily available for everyone with an Android. Um, I believe it's Android 5 and up. Anyone with Android 5 and up will be able to download it. You basically just have to do a setup process in which you download the app on your phone. You'll probably never have to use that again. And then you, um, all, most Windows computers actually have it pre-installed now. So you usually don't have to download it on your Windows. Just go to your search menu, type in phone link, and you should be good. So now that I have Samsung DeX set up, I'm just gonna quickly go through the user interface. As you can see, it looks a lot like a um, desktop screen. So that's why it's called Samsung DeX. This is gonna be the desktop version of your smartphone. Um, again, this is wirelessly connected to my S22 Ultra right now. And um, I actually prefer the user interface of this. I'll show you the phone link next, but uh, basically you get like all of the apps that you have on your phone readily available. In this desktop mode, you get a app drawer. So let me click on that. You get all of the apps that you have downloaded on your phone right here. You get like a home button, a back button, and a recent apps button as well. And you, um, and again, you can, um, just like a desktop computer, you can set like some of your favorite apps down here. These are some of my favorite apps, movie box, uh, the uh, Samsung internet and um, the YouTube and Spotify. When you're in Samsung DeX, you can actually access your phone's quick toggles as well. So these are all like the quick toggles that I have set up on my S22 Ultra actually. And you can change all of these like settings from your um, computer as well. So I think that's extremely useful to have. Um, you do have like some volume settings. You could take a screenshot if you want to. You could pull up a keyboard right here. And you could even change like the source of audio. So I could use my PC speakers if I wanted to or connect it to any of these Bluetooth options. Okay, so now let's go through the interface of the phone link app. So um, it's really like a little more straightforward, I think, than um, DEX's. Everything is basically on one screen, it's in tabs. So um, right now I'm in the settings. Um, it's a lot of really cool settings you can um, select multiple devices and connect them to the phone link app. Again, this is compatible with basically every single Android, but every Android won't have some of the features. Um, I noticed my LG V40 does not have the ability to display apps. We will go over that later, but pretty much every Android device, you'll be able to see your notifications here and respond to a lot of them. And you can um, look at your calls and your messages. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So in the phone link app, you do have the option to send text messages directly from your um, from your computer. 
and you do have the options to make phone calls as well so yeah a lot of really cool features in the phone link app you do have to be connected to bluetooth to make calls so the experience of opening apps i believe is going to be a lot better in samsung dex just because all of these apps scale to whatever monitor or screen that you're using like um, automatically through software um, that does not happen um, all the time with phone link i'll show you the difference so um, for example if i just open up samsung internet now it will pull up the mobile version of it instead of like the phone version because the phone version is built for uh, 9 by 16 instead of 16 by 9 so a phone of course is like built like that it's tall and then um, a regular monitor is going to be wider so everything automatically scales to the monitor when you open up apps in dex and i just like um, that you can open up as many apps as you'd like and run them right next to each other and i believe you can like fit it as well Yeah, you could do like half and half. So yeah, um, really nice interface in terms of like opening apps. These are basically the exact same apps on your phone. So playing games and things like that, consuming media, it's gonna be a lot better in Samsung Dex. So now I'm going to talk about the um, ability to open apps in the Microsoft Phone Link app. Again, I definitely prefer opening apps in Dex just because it's a lot better. You're getting the experience that you'll get on your phone, but in a wider format to match um, your computer monitor. So um, when you do this in phone link, it actually gives you a vertical format. I'm going to show you what it does. So uh, let me just open Discord. So um, as you can see right now, I just opened up Discord. Um, actually in my uh, tech creator discord right there but um, when I open discord it's basically mirroring my phone screen that's why you see it in that tall vertical format like that and uh, this is basically the biggest screen that you can get um, for these different apps again when you're doing it in Dex you'll get it just like how you'll get it on a computer but here you're getting, you're seeing it like how you see it on your phone this is actually the biggest that you can get it um, but when you use the default size like it gave me when I opened it, you can um, open up multiple apps at the same time. Let me just open up another one. Uh, what should I open? Let's do Fitbit. And I'm going to do Xbox Game Pass. And Fitbit again and Discord. So you could open up multiple um i don't know if it has a limit or whatever but you can open up multiple screens on here but this is how it will be formatted out just because of them being in vertical format but uh, there is an exception uh, when you're um in youtube and you go to full screen mode youtube is the only app that i've checked for this but uh, let me see there it is when i'm in youtube and let's just open up a no Harmon video and you do full screen you get this much so um yeah it's not a lot um it's a little bit um at the bottom as you can see i can't fill this out anymore can't drag this down or anything but you get like uh, i'd say a solid 80 percent of the screen right here um when you're in full screen mode on a video playing app so i guess that's one perk of phone link but again in samsung dex you would get the whole screen so uh, media consumption and opening apps is going to be a lot better in Samsung Dex. So I do want to cover notifications as well because that's an important part um, of a lot of people's workflow, how they receive their notifications on their computer. So um, in Samsung Dex, you basically get the exact screen that you will see like when you drag down the notifications from your top of your phone. Uh, it's basically mirrored right here and you can still open up the um, notifications or you can open up the app from the notifications you'll see how fast that was that's going to be a lot faster than it will be in phone link and um, just a better overall experience in that regard but um, the game changer is in another part of notifications they want to talk about okay so you may not be able to open up your notifications as smooth in phone link as you can do with samsung dex but um, a big game changer is that um, I believe you will only get the Dex notifications within the Dex app. Uh, the phone link app actually allows you to um, get the notifications in your Windows notifications as well. So 
um, as well as like getting notifications here to the side of the phone link app you will also get them right here um, right here like when you have like a notification like just say like a zoom notification or something you will also get the phone link notification here with a description of what the notification is about okay so the last piece that i'm going to talk about is file transfer so um, one limitation of the microsoft phone link app is that it only allows you to like view pictures um there's like a photo section that's only for pictures and it's only your last 2000 pictures i mean 2000 is a lot but what if you want to go back further and um i think the main limitation is that video is not supported um in the phone link app and um in terms of file transfer you are able to actually like drag your photos into windows so i'm just going to show you how that works now so i'm just going to drag this file over from phone link into windows and i could copy it here and there you see it um you can also do the same in samsung dex um just as um smoothly with the samsung gallery app you would do the same thing just pull up the microsoft file explorer to the side and you could drag any type of file actually so you could drag pictures videos audio whatever kind of file that samsung has for you you could drag it over to windows um again that's just way smoother um transition um i really hope to see the phone link app support more types of files in the future okay guys so i'm going to wrap this video up now overall um i definitely prefer personally i prefer the samsung dex app just because i like the desktop interface better than the uh having a standalone app off to the side like the phone link app that's just a personal preference some people actually may prefer like having a standalone app rather than getting lost in like a whole nother desktop type interface like having your computer and then having decks off to the side that may not be for everyone but it is for me because i like my apps to be um as close um in similarity to my phone as possible um the main things that i don't like about the phone link app is how the apps open as well as um the lack of file transfer the file transfer is huge for me because i create a lot of content from my phone and sometimes i may want to drag it over to my computer um to edit or do something with it or even vice versa um starting something on my computer and then editing the rest on my phone um, i'm not able to do that with the phone link app but i am with decks so yeah uh, let me know what you think about these two apps in the comments have you guys ever used samsung dex or phone link i want to know Leave it in the comments and um, thank you for watching this video.